Hello everybody and welcome back to another typical City Watch Along. Here we go, bouncing back. That's what we're doing today. We are absolutely going to do this. Come on Blues, bouncing back in the FA Cup. I mean, I feel like the FA Cup's been sort of diminished. I understand the Champions League is obviously a much bigger, more prestigious competition. But I feel like City fans are going into this one like a, like a pre-season game a little bit. Like, ugh. Like after the, the pain and the sorrow after the, the knockout of the Champions League game, coming in like, oh, bloody FA Cup, oh, we're playing Chelsea, like, oh, I don't want to really do this. Like, oh, like I've, we, we've got to take this like so seriously for momentum in the Premier League as well. Because I tell you what, if we drop, we get knocked out of the FA Cup today, I have serious, serious problems with, the, with my, my, my positivity towards the Premier League as well but if we beat Chelsea today I feel like we'll go to Brighton and do the business and then the Premier League starts to look more hunky-dory and all of a sudden we can look at a domestic double which is following a treble and then Manchester City will be absolutely laughing at the end of the season laughing and uh, I have every belief that we're going to do it today I really do I think Chelsea have been papering over the cracks a little bit you know playing Everton stonking them 6-0 I mean they absolutely battered them in fairness, but they were gifted so many of their goals. But there isn't that harmony there. There was the argument with the penalty, who should be taking the penalty. Cole Palmer, Madueke, Nicholas Jackson, all arguing. It went on and on. So there is like a, a real lack of like team spirit there in Chelsea. Um, but team spirit that's not shown any signs of like faltering when they face us. This season, they've been bloody brilliant when they face us. That's the problem. But it's against minnows, against middling teams, bottom half of the Premier League teams. Chelsea have really struggled, you know. So if we can go 1-0 up, you know, 1-0 up against this Chelsea side early and I feel like they'll start to feel sorry for themselves, argue a little bit and we can start to dominate and control that football, that spherical object. We can control it. Um, Ryan, typical City member for one month, Ryan. You're an absolute legend, mate. I really appreciate you calling it. 4-2 City has gone for... I take any sort of win. I don't want it to go to penalties. You know what I mean? I don't want it to go to penalties. That's what I really don't want to see. Um, cheers, Kevin. Glad to see you back. Yeah, I mean, to be this is going to be a bit of a... I've still got the illness, by the way. I'm still going to be coughing. I'm getting through it okay. As you can tell, I have to sort of like swallow every now and again. Probably going to be like a bit of a phlegm along. I'm at that stage, not to get too graphic or anything, but I'm at that stage of the cough where it's like, it's all coming up, mate. It's all coming. I need like a spit bucket next to me so I go ding like the cowboys did in the west um well it's going to be a phlegm along that's what it's going to be it's going to be grim it's going to be grim so uh, enjoy that enjoy that but uh yeah good to see you guys in the chat my mood was in here nice and early I spoke to you before mate hope you're doing good big m it's 4-2 as well 4-2 is a popular scoreline uh epw adam liverpool fans made me laugh trying to mock us for losing to madrid on pens this was before they were knocked out of the Europa League by Atalanta, mate. Bloody Liverpool, that's... Uh, th there's levels to this game right now, and Liverpool, you're, domestically, are just about on our level. Domestically, they're cl they're hanging on to our coattails right now. But over the course of, like, a full campaign, the talk of the quadru quadruple was... It's almost embarrassing now how much they've capitulated. I still feel like Arsenal are a threat, you know. I still feel like they've not gone away. And, I mean, two points we're talking about in the Premier League. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, I really feel like Arsenal are still the main threat over the over the on the on the Premier League side of things. But uh, this game will decide our season. I feel like this is a real moment. I said it the in the preview for the Real Madrid game. I said that that game's gonna be the first of the next three games, in Real Madrid included, that will define our season. We've got knocked out, but there's a big caveat with getting knocked out. Because it's like, oh, you didn't go out with a whimper. You played really, really well. And you ended up getting knocked out on a penalty shootout because a Real Madrid decided to rock up to the Etihad and park the bus. Now, I had loads of Real Madrid fans annoyed with me for saying such a thing. Like, how dare I say Real Madrid parked the bus? What, do you want me to lie? What did, what, what did you do? Did we watch the same game? Real Madrid were fucking defensive. That's all they did. 
That's all they wanted to do. And it was effective. I'm not knocking it. I said there's no right or wrong way to play football. Now, Real Madrid did the job at the end of the day. They got through, through a defensive performance that was... I mean, you can call it a defensive masterclass. I think you're going a bit overboard with the word masterclass considering they conceded 33 shots. I wouldn't call that a masterclass, but I, I still think it was a good enough performance for Real Madrid to go through, defensively good enough. But uh, you, you, you take the, the positives out of that game. So I'm now taking those positives coming into this Chelsea game and now it's like, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. How are they feeling? How are the players going to deal with the uh, the the... The downfall, the, the the pressure of this game and the pain of the previous game and, and motivate yourself to go again, knowing full well that really the big prize this season was the Champions League. Back-to-back -back Champions Leagues is ridiculously difficult to do. And if we were able to do it, it we'd be forever lauded as one of the greatest European sides ever, following on from a treble, you know, and it's not to be. But we, we can still be... Uh, uh, considered one of the we st we are right now I'm talking as if it's not a, uh, the case whatsoever as of right now Manchester City are, are historically one of the greatest footballing sides ever we've ever seen I mean, people won't like to hear that City fans will enjoy hearing that but non-City fans will think now what are you talking about what are you talking about people will go historically but I guarantee you in 10 years they'll look back at this City side and go like well, has anyone else didn't done what they done? No. Did anyone else get 100 points? No. Did anyone else get a domestic quadruple? No. Did anyone win the treble when they said it could never be done? No. You know, all, all the trophies that we won in that period of time with Pep Guardiola, all the records that we've broken, we're, we're living in a record right now. This is the sixth successive semi-final for Manchester City in the FA Cup. That's an FA Cup record. We're living in history right now. People don't want to admit that, and that's fine. If it helps you sleep at night, that's fine. But going forward, this Manchester City side are going to be lauded historically as one of the greatest sides that football has ever seen. So uh, I hope the players are ready. Speaking of players, I'll get onto the team news as well. Um, Chelsea, a few, very few surprises in there. I thought Sterling might get in, but Petrovic um, is expected... I thought that would be the case, considering he's the cup goalkeeper. Petrovic, who I don't think is a great goalkeeper, by the way. I think he's okay. A little bit ropey. I'd like to see him getting tested with a couple of shots in this game, because I feel like his hands aren't as safe as they could be. Uh, but Gusto at right back for Chelsea has been brilliant lately. He's, he's really, really impressed me. Um, so coming down that left-hand side, Jack Grealish has got his work cut out for him. Uh, in the middle, no De Sarsi, which I'm pleased with, because I think he's a better player than Chalabar. Chalabar starts, De Sarsi's on the bench, Thiago Silva and Cucurella at left back. Uh, Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez is back into the squad, uh, which therefore gives the licence to Conor Gallagher to push forward into that number 10 role with Cole Palmer on the right, Madueke on the left and Nicholas Jackson up top. City, Ortega in goal, Walker, Akanji and Ake are going to be the back three with Stones and Rodri in a double pivot in front of them. It's going to be likely going to be De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. I'm imagining Foden's going to be on the right wing again, which I know is going to annoy some people. Um, I'm not too bothered about that. I think people are overly worried. I'm glad we've got a player that can do what Foden's doing. There aren't, you know, Bernardo Silva can play inside and can play on the right wing. Foden can play inside and play on the right wing. People will have the debate as whether Foden is better inside than he is on the right wing. I get that. And there is a debate for that. Um... I'm just glad we've got a player that can do it. You know, I think let, let's celebrate what Foden can do rather than be annoyed at him playing in different positions. I'm, I'm glad we can, he can do these roles. Um, Grealish on the left and Alvarez up top, which is typical of anything I say in nowadays. Last time I said, should we start Haaland or start Alvarez? Trying to be clever, trying to be smart. He started both. This time I thought, right, I won't do it an either or I'll just do a should should we drop Haaland and he's injured so every time I seem to open my mouth nowadays every time I have say Phil Foden's going to have a bad get oh he's playing unwell he's not playing well at all Phil Foden he, he rifles one into the top corner so uh, I don't I, I might continue with this vein of form the footballing gods if you believe in those guys whoever they are the footballing gods whatever they're up to They've, they've got their eye on me right now because every time I open my mouth, it, it, it makes me stick my foot firmly, firmly down my throat. So uh, hopefully, let's say uh, they're all shit. This, this lineup is shit. 
De Bruyne, Grealish, Alvarez, Bernardo Silva, Al Alvarez, Foden, John Stones, Akanji, Rodri, Ake, Ortega, Walker. You're all shit. That guarantees a victory, surely. Because the footballing gods will have heard that. Have they read yet? They're nearly read. Just feeling my ears. They're getting read soon. But you just never know. You just never know. And the uh, teams are out. Teams are out. And the FA Cup semi-final, Wembley, is about to get underway. Uh, who have we got in the chat as well? I've been ignoring a lot of people. Um, Devious was in there. Coogan. Um, Dudley. Issa. Issa, sorry. I always get that wrong, mate. Hello, all. I'm surprised with the lineup. Me too, mate. But think it will work. Hoping Rodri has a good game. He looked very tired both legs against Madrid. I knew Rodri would start in this game. There was no way he was going to start Rodri. I knew Pep was going to be like, right, let's time to bounce back. Um, I knew he was going to go reasonably strong. I didn't think he would go as strong as this. I'm surprised Doku's not starting, considering how well he played coming onto the pitch um, against Real Madrid. I'm surprised at that. Bloody BBC. I'm watching the BBC here. They've gone Conor Gallagher left wing. Conor Gallagher left wing. I mean, this is the BBC. Surely, I mean, I'll, I'll eat my words. If Conor Gallagher's playing on the left wing, I'll, I'll take my hats off to the BBC. But there is no way that's happening. No way. Ugh, nonsense. Um, but yeah, no Doku. I'm surprised at that. I really am. I'm surprised that Bernardo Silva's starting as well. And there's a Walker. I'm surprised at him starting. 120 minutes. I mean, we could see another 120 minutes here. You know? We could be looking at 240 minutes of football before we go away to Brighton. In the space of three days for some of these players. He is pushing it, Pep. I get Rodri. I get Rodri because of just like, well, what's the alternative? I know you want to rest him, but what's the alternative? We don't have one. There is no, that, that, that's anywhere near as good. You're going from 10 out of 10 to 6 out of 10 compared to Rodri. If Rodri's standards are 10 out of 10, everyone else is so far beneath him. So far. John Stones is miles away from Rodri. You know, Akanji can't do Rodri's job. A Kovacic can't do Rodri. No one can, you know. So we, we, we're going to have to go into the transfer market and try and get someone who's just that level below Rodri but can do the job when called upon. And he's not in our squad right now. He doesn't exist in our squad. So we have to play Rodri in this game. Um, section 20, good to see you, mate. And Marie, Franz, good to see you as well. Uh, Chinadu, good to see you. Scott. Without Haaland, pens are shaky. Mate, I don't want to see penalties today. I mean, if I do, I wouldn't mind seeing Edison. Just give him all five. It's not legal. Not possible. But let him take all five. Because Edison, Edison's penalty was ridiculous. And the rumours are that he's the... Uh, obviously, he's not even starting, so he'd have to bring the substitute on to, for that to happen. But uh, the rumours are he's never missed a penalty. Apparently. In the uh, Man City training. And no one saved an Edison penalty. He scores every single one, like Balotelli ask. But he was nonchalant, mate. He just absolutely boshed it into that bottom corner. In a real, that was a high pressure penalty as well. Don't forget, really high pressure. And he just he looked like he didn't give a shit. He looked like he was trading. He just buried it, you know. And there'd have been nothing sweeter for him to have followed up with a save after that. If he'd saved that penalty after that, like wow. But uh, there's no good looking back now. Game's about to get underway, Blues. Come on, City. Let's fucking do the business. Let's bounce back. Show the world what we're all about, man. Show the best team in the world. That's what we are. We are the best team in the world. Let's fucking show them. Let's fucking show them. Because everyone's had their laugh. Everyone has had their laugh this week. City getting knocked out and everyone wanking themselves silly. Right, game's under underway. Come on, City. If we can bounce back, man. I just fucking... I will love it. I will Kevin Keegan it. Smash a like. On the video and subscribe if you're new, by the way, guys. I appreciate it. City giving the ball away already here. Caicedo's coming forward. Foden's stepping in. Bit loosey goosey all of a sudden. Cucurella coming forward. Gets the ball over everybody's head and Nathan Ake is going to see that out, is he not? He's, he's going to clear it. I'm glad Ake's back in. I think Ake coming back in is a good shout. Needed the minutes. Gavardiol's been playing really well lately, but Nathan Ake is just so reliable, isn't he? He's just so reliable. You can just trust him. Going to be interesting to see. Foden's in the middle, by the way. Foden's in the middle with Kevin De Bruyne. So you've got your wish. I think it was Devious who was... 
requesting that. And I don't think you're the only one, mate. I think a lot of City fans have been caught crying out for Foden in the middle. Oh, he's giving it away! Oh, I thought Alvarez was going to get on the end of that. Grealish. Ball out to Bernardo Silva's a poor one. Bit of... Was it? I think Bernardo Silva was a bit on his heels there. But a poor ball from Chelsea. Playing it square across the face of goal from Mark Cucurella. Overhits it. Thiago Silva's got to get in there and do a slide tackle. As the ball's like trickling towards the penalty spot, Alvarez swoops in. You're thinking he's about to strike it and make it 1-0 City, but Thiago Silva's outstretched leg does the business. <coughs> and there's the first cough of many that's coming your way in this stream. <laughs> and the eyes are already watering. Nicholas Jackson. Nathan Ake, foul referee. He's giving it. <clears throat> You're absolutely right, Ryan. Kind of sad this will be the last few games that we see of Bernardo. I don't know what the club's going to do in terms of <clears throat> some sort of recognition, you know, for the guy, for what he's done for this club. And just the, not just the trophies that he's won, the goals, important goals that he's scored, the first goal at the Etihad last season against Real Madrid, for example, goals at Old Trafford. Um, so many, so many moments. Just, he's never, ever really dropped below a 6 out of 10. I can't remember Bernardo Silva ever having a stinker. Do you know what I mean? He's always been like 6 out of 10. Akanji bringing the ball forward, and it's a foul referee, is it? Yeah, it is. Um... But what are the club going to do? I mean, we're running out of space for statues. Is he statue worthy, Bernardo Silva? It's hard to say why he isn't, but it's like, I mean, De Bruyne, he's, he's up there, isn't he? Is it worthy of a statue? De Bruyne, surely. I think he is. He's been there for the longest period of time. Bernardo Silva joined a little bit after Kevin De Bruyne. Um, but Bernardo Silva's been unbelievable. You know, could he get one of those plaques that Yaya got instead? Is he that, you know? He needs something. He absolutely needs something. And you're right, Ryan, it's sad. It's going to be a sad day to see the uh, to see the back of Bernardo Silva because what a, what a player he's been, mate. What a player. Got 120 in the building. Could we pop some likes on the stream if you can? It really helps with the channel and all that. Um, what was I going to say? Um... Ball was nearly given away. Chelsea looking a bit sloppy at the back. A lot of empty seats in the Chelsea end, by the way. I haven't seen the City end, but you're in fucking London, Chelsea. You've not got far to go. Our lot have got a four-hour drive or a two-and-a-half-hour train journey. Some of the Americans in the chat will be like, two-and-a-half hours, that's what I drive to work every day. That's like a huge commute in England. In America, that's like nothing. Nothing. But uh, going to London is like, bloody hell, you going to London? Yeah, I'm going bloody London. It's fucking miles away. Statue for Pep, Sabre, 100%, mate, 100%. No, that's not, no, that's the point. Good point, Clara. Bernardo Silva hasn't officially said he's going yet, but the rumours are pretty strong that he's on his way. He was nearly on his way last summer, so I, I think he will be on his way. This summer. Cole Palmer's giving it away. I'm bored of Cole Palmer and the the whole debate around him. The City made a mistake. I think the price was too cheap. That's what I think. I think, I mean, at the time I thought it was quite cheap. You know, he's an English upcoming talent. And the English tax, you know, the you, you should immediately add 10, 15 million to a player that's English and is going to get into a... England squad. Cole Palmer's that guy. I felt like he should have been 50 60. Even when we sold him, I thought that's a really cheap price. Now, I mean, what would Chelsea command for Cole Palmer? You'd be looking at 80 to, in between 80 to 100 million to try and sign Cole Palmer, you know? So the, the, we, we've done ourselves dirty there in that regard. But in terms of the player leaving, he wanted to leave. Pep said, it. Pep said it after my preview. I said it in my preview that I thought, no way. Like I, The guy said he wanted to leave. And then Pep doubled down on that as well. Pep said, like he's, he asked for it last season, apparently, Pep said. Which is mad. Which shows he wasn't really that loyal, was he? Do you know what I mean? If he wanted to go last season, it was a bit disheartening. That I thought I, thought I didn't get that impression from him. 
But uh, Nicholas Jackson has spun. Oh, Nathan Ake gets back with an unbelievable tackle. Akanji got spun really, really badly there by uh, Nicholas Jackson. Let's give credit to uh, Nicholas Jackson rather than uh, having a pop at Nate, uh, Manuel Akanji. But Nathan Ake gets back with an unbelievable slide tackle. Love that. <clears throat> That's a good point, Ryan, yeah. The fact that we made him stay last year is a bit of a mad one, isn't it? Walker's giving it away. Chelsea are in here. Chelsea are in. It's a shot saved by Edison. Walker dilly-dallying on the ball, mate. You've got to be sharper than that. He got caught on the ball. He's sticking his hands in the air, asking for a uh, for a free kick. Conor Gallagher, the guy I said he just loves a press, doesn't he? Conor, Conor Gallagher. He will never stop running. He'll never stop. You've got to be aware of that city. And Kyle Walker has uh, got away with one there. Got away with that. He was, uh, you know, he, he, people say he was at fault for the first goal against Real Madrid. And I mean, he, he played a big role in it. You know, he could have done better, definitely. City getting the ball back now. De Bruyne bringing it forward. But I thought after that, he composed himself and he was really good. How many times did he uh, stop? Two, I can think of, like really big opportunities for Vinicius Jr. And Walker getting back, doing really, really well. To the point where Vinicius went off injured. Madueki's coming forward. And Ake has blocked the cross. It's a corner to Chelsea. Chelsea have looked really shaky at the back, but coming forward. City haven't looked exactly solid in defence themselves, to be honest. Walker's got caught on the ball. Akanji's been spun already. So the game's pretty 50-50 at the minute. Maybe edging towards Chelsea, considering they've had a shot and a corner. We haven't really offered anything going forward ourselves yet. It's going to be uh, Conor Gallagher stepping over to take this one. I wonder what the science is behind having your socks cut to bits. You know, football players' socks, they cut them at the back with little holes in the back of their socks. Is it like the circulation in your calves or something like that? I wonder what they're doing. Why are they doing that? Ball in. Half cleared. Grealish fully cleared. And I mean fucking fully cleared. Absolute avid, mate. See you later, football. Off into the horizon goes that football from Jack Grealish. Back with Petrovic. Yeah, socks are too tight, so it makes their calves cramp. Well, loosen them up a bit. <laughs> Rather than spending a lot of money on wool and cotton, making them super tight, just make them a bit loose so we don't waste a load of cotton and cut them to bits. De Bruyne and his uh, cross has been blocked by Caicedo. Corner ball to City. Is it circulation, Clara? Why not make the socks a bit looser then? Or is it fashion, Scott? That's fashion. Is that right? It, to be fair, I mean, we're cutting holes in our jeans now, aren't we? I mean, that's been happening for quite some time, to be fair. So, uh, I think mean, it could have just been, been fashion. Yeah, short ball. De Bruyne back to Alvarez. He's going to whip it in Alvarez. Back post. Oh, no! It's Rodri! Petrovic is uh, collecting it. Rodri at the back post after Alvarez whips it into that back post. Rodri trying to nod it back across the face of goal, but it goes into the hands of Petrovic. Ten minutes gone already. I mean, we, we, we could do with a goal in this first half. You know, we could. We really could. Because the minutes... As they tick by, as they go by, we're going to be feeling it. Following the uh, the demanding energy that we had to expend against um, against Real Madrid. Kyle Walker, mate, what's he doing there with a the touch? Like, what the fuck was that? Just tried a little touch, looking up, not even looking at the ball, and just miscontrolled it. Then, fucking hell, Kyle Alvarez getting caught on the ball. Cole Palmer shot first time, and Edison, uh, sorry, Ortega collects it. Bloody hell. Sloppy. Sloppy from City so far. There's been a numerous players that are just look shell-shocked a little bit. Hung over from the Real Madrid defeat. 
I've mean, seen Kyle Walker with two moments. One that he got away with. Well, he got away with both, really. Akanji's been spun. Alvarez getting caught on the ball there. See Foden now playing centrally. We've got what we wanted. Bernardo's on that right wing going up against Cucurella now and he's just forgotten to how to dribble. And Chelsea pass it out for a throw. And it's been a poor football. It's poor standard of quality from both sides so far in this game. It's been poor. You know, both sides making so many mistakes. We're 11 minutes in, lads. It's fucking poor. Really poor. Grealish. Come on, Jackie boy. Kyle Walker, mate. He's just giving the ball away again with a. Trying to chest it down and he slipped, and Conor Gallagher's bringing it forward. Oh, God, Walker's having a mare at the minute. What? Three mistakes in 12 minutes from Kyle Walker does not make for good reading. Jack Grealish gets back and wins the tackle and knocks it out for a Chelsea corner. Red Camp, 67. Um, we're not bad compared to last season we're worse than last season yeah um, but I think every football team in the world I can't think of many football teams ever that had as good a season as we did last season obviously people will immediately say the Man United side in 1999 I'd argue we were better because not only did we go on and win the UEFA Super Cup that followed that we won the FIFA Club World Cup that followed that we tried to defend the FA Cup. We're doing it right now. United pulled out of the FA Cup. They pulled out of the FA Cup. Do not let those bastards forget that. They, they said it, we, we can't do it. So, bullshit. Ball in. Gre uh, De Bruyne clears it. Counter-attack opportunity here. Foden's bringing it down the left wing. He's lumped it forward. Lovely, lovely ball to Alvarez. He brings it down beautifully. Great touch from Alvarez. But he's, got, he's on his own, mate. He's got to go back. Gusto's pushing it. Lovely. Round the corner pass to De Bruyne. De Bruyne into Foden. Foden round Petrovic. Oh, no one's in there. Oh. No way. Foden get, goes around Petrovic, but he takes it so far wide. It's an it's a cute angle. He's miles on side as well. What a ball from uh, Kevin De Bruyne. To the point where Foden can't even get his shot away because he's on the byline. He's got to try and cross it. But no one's in there. Foden was on his own. No one was in there. But that was a real opportunity for Manchester City. Oh, that was the big one. That was the one. Yeah, lovely ball, that. Good play from City. Really good. Counter-attacking football. The pass from uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Sorry, from Foden to Alvarez was lovely. The first touch from Alvarez, lovely, brings it down, he gets his head up, he realises no one to pass to, he turns around, keeps the ball, and then he sees a lovely little round the corner pass to Kevin De Bruyne and City are in business again, but Chelsea are in business now with Nicholas Jackson coming forward, Nathan Ake, De Bruyne with a lovely sliding tackle, it's good from Kevin De Bruyne so far, he's been, well, not seen much of him, but that's big from Kevin De Bruyne, big tackle. Showed he's got a bit of speed still, which I've been critical of this season. And the pass a moment ago to Foden was absolutely brilliant. I've heard people say, like, oh, City could only win the Premier League this year. Only. Do you know what I mean? That's the standards we've set as a, as a football club. That, and, I, and there's a part of me that feels like that a little bit because I understand why people are saying it. I understand why City fans are feeling it a little bit. But we have to remain humble in regards to how difficult it is to win a treble and certainly not expect that every season. It was an absolute, a wonderful anomaly that will very rarely happen in life, you know? And uh, to say now that it's the only the Premier League shows how far we've come as a football club, first of all, and is just outright wrong.
to say only. It's not only. It's it's amazing. To just to win the Premier League, amazing. But I I feel like it would be disappointing to uh, to come away with just an FA Cup. I feel like that's a little bit of an anticlimactic season. If you had to pick one, obviously the Premier League. But um, just the FA Cup would be disappointing. But, but good. It's hard to say, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just the FA Cup again. I, I'm not. I'm just contradicting myself completely there. Because I think the FA Cup would be brilliant, really, if you think about it. You know, remember? Do you remember 2011? 2011 with Mancini. How did we feel as City fans? 34 years and we're still here. That's what we sung prior. So every year that went by, that banner at Old Trafford, all them years of not winning a trophy, and then Mancini winning us the FA Cup by knocking United out, them rags knocked out in the semi-final. Just the FA Cup. Imagine saying that back then in 2011. Oh, disappointing season. We've only won the FA Cup. Disappointing. Imagine that. Jackson's coming forward. Ball across. Nobody's there. Madaweki's going to keep this in, though. One on one with Nathan Ake. He didn't even bother trying to beat him. Ball over the top. Was shit from Chelsea. <clears throat> Marie's giving it large. City, city, city. I don't feel comfortable in this game, I must admit. There is a there is still a threat from Chelsea when they come forward. But so far, the best chance of the game has definitely fallen to Manchester City. I think Petrovic does well, actually, if you go back and look at the chance. I think he gets a touch on it and it forces Foden a bit further wide because Foden was trying to go round Petrovic. And, and in fairness to Foden, it was the right thing to do in that situation. But Petrovic used his the full span of his body to get some fingertips on it and it sort of forces Foden wider than so that the, the shooting option's gone. He's got to try and just get it across the face of goal and Cucurella was just waiting there to clear it. But yeah, as of now, by the way, uh, something I've not mentioned, John Stones is sitting. Akanji's in midfield. So the John Stones role, that's what it's known as, isn't it? The John Stones role... While John Stones is on the pitch, is not the John Stones role. It's the Manuel Akanji role. He's sat in midfield, Manuel Akanji, by the way. Good ball from uh, De Bruyne. Jackie Boy into Alvarez. Alvarez thinking about the shot. He dummies. Alvarez is shot and it's blocked by De Bruyne, who looks to be offside as well. Gutted. I mean, De Bruyne with a little wry smile there, knowing that he's uh, sort of done his mate dirty there a little bit, got in the way of Alvarez. But I think he uh, Alvarez looked sharp there as well. The dummy was great. Sent two Chelsea players, sat them down. It was Chalabur and uh, I think it was Gusto who both went to try and block the Alvarez's shot. Dummied by Alvarez. He brings it back onto his left foot and he goes for that bottom corner. And uh, De Bruyne, of all people, is stood in the way in an offside position. So, uh, free kick to Chelsea. Rodri's back there. Walker. Every time it goes near Walker, Chelsea seem to... I mean, to be fair, he headed it in a place where you're, you're hoping. But every time it goes over that area of the pitch, it's not looking assured at all from, uh, from Mr. Walker. Long ball over the top for Akanji to chase with uh, Nicholas Jackson breathing down his neck. Gets the ball back to Ortega though. Devious, are you still done with Haaland, mate? Because I know you're, um, you're a bit fed up with him. And I understand why people are frustrated, but I do think we need to try and put things into perspective. 
you know, the numbers that he's got this year has been like <laughs> brilliant, really. You know, it's just we 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 are we are constantly victims of our own success. We've we've sampled it already in this video where I've talked about oh only the Premier League or only the FA Cup, you know. That attitude right there is entitled, and that's me saying that about myself. That was an entitled attitude to say only the FA Cup. I just said the FA Cup would feel like a disappointment. And then I tried to like, hang on a minute, how do I feel about that? No, that's wrong. And it is wrong, because in 2011, we cherished every moment, you know, of winning that FA Cup when we won it with Mancini. Grealish, ball in. Oh, the opportunity, Alvarez, ball in from Grealish was straight into uh, Alvarez's chest. Chelsea looking to counter-attack here. And Enzo keeps it in as well. He's coming forward down the left-hand side. Well played, Phil Foden nearly. And Rodri gets it back to Ortega. But yeah, you know, we've become a bit entitled and, and, and victims and spoiled. I'm spoiled. I feel spoiled. You know, and you get used to a way of living. It's like winning the lottery, isn't it? You know, imagine winning the lottery. You know, you get used to eating caviar and shit. I don't know what, I've never had caviar. I bet it tastes like shit, to be honest. From what it sounds like, what is it? Fish eggs? Fuck that. Why is it so expensive to eat a load of bollocks out of the sea? I don't want to eat that at all. But it's incredibly expensive and considered a delicacy. But... I don't want to eat it right now, but anyway, you get used to a way of thinking in life, and, and then all of a sudden, beans on toast sounds like a bag of shit, doesn't it? Like, no, I want caviar on toast. You get used to it. You get used to a way of living. Like, no, I don't want to drive anywhere. I want to be driven by my chauffeur. Please. And you get used to it. And we're used to just winning. We need to remember, you know, what it was like as City fans and how shit it used to be. Gusto with a great tackle on Kevin De Bruyne there. Madueki is coming forward. Gusto. Ake blocks the cross. Offside. William. Is caviar yummy? Never had it, mate. It sounds awful. But uh, are, you, are you a fish fan? So I'm not a big fish guy. Unless it's battered. As in, um, battered. Like, not like beating the shit out of. Like, battered. Like, I don't know if it meant. Do Americans call? Um, battered, like, you know, the breadcrumbs. It's not breadcrumbs, though, is it? It's battered. It's a different thing. But anyway. Yeah, I need to try... I need to sample some caviar. It's the sort of thing my missus would love. She's into, like, sushi. I've never had sushi in my life. It's a bit of a weird one, that, isn't it? Grealish. Who was it who just said they're slow? I saw the word slow. Um, and you're absolutely right. I agree. There is a there is a slow tempo both sides. To be fair, it's not just City. Here's Bernardo Silva down the right side, lays it off for Walker. First time cross from Walker, cleared by Thiago Silva. John Stone's going to pick that up. Aaron's done one. He's had enough of me. You haven't had sushi. My missus loves sushi. She goes to like sushi, sushi. Sushi restaurants. Sushi, I can't say it now. Pauline, good to see you. Um, but yeah, never had sushi. But uh, I, I, I like fish and chips, you know, like proper English fish and chips. Battered card, love it. I love that. Loads of chips, salt and vinegar, love all that shit. That's brilliant. Rodri, that's a foul referee. Oh, Rodri's gone down. No, 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 no. That looked like a bad one as well. He's holding his knee. He immediately went to hold his knee and it looked like his leg had extended. Got a lovely shot of Rodri's arse right now as the camera just... Oh, no, that looks like a bad one. Rodri's legs just extended really awkwardly. And that's nothing to do with... Oh, he needs resting. That Oh, he's up. He's walking. He's fine. Not arsed. Panic over. Panic over. Because <sighs> I tell you what, if we lose Rodri, the league, De Bruyne ball in, cleared. Just 
by Nicholas Jackson. Corner ball to City. Jeff's in the, his house. Good to see you, Jeff. How you doing, mate? Don't need to apologise for being late. And the chat goes wild. Jeff comes in. Jeff kicks the door in into the chat. And the chat goes, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Ball in. Over everybody. Cucurella clears it. Jeff's like a legend in the chat, isn't he? I love it. Bernardo Silva on the right is uh, not really done much down there, to be honest. Grealish, though, on the left. Thinks the ball in! It's back post! Oh, and it's Bernardo Silva who said he nearly did exactly what I've been saying every every time I open my mouth, my big, fat, fucking flappy lips. I said, Bernardo Silva's done nothing. You know, he, he ghosts in at the back post and nearly makes it 1-0 Manchester City, Bernardo Silva. Very nearly. Lovely ball from Jack Grealish. I think he saw the run of Bernardo Silva. Foden's in an offside position. Questions whether that would have been uh, given as offside. He actually, the linesman stuck his flag up, so... Not sure Foden even got a touch on the ball, but he went to he went to get a touch on it. So, unless you Marcus Rashford, that's offside. Hundred and sixty watching, We've got seventy five likes. Do you reckon we could get to a hundred? That'd be great if we could. Please help the channel grow. Yeah, I was gutted missing the uh, the Real Madrid watch long. Gutted to miss that. Really was. But sat here like with no one to talk to. You know, just feeling sorry for myself. Even more so after the game. But I missed everyone. I really did. All the familiar names that are in the chat right now. I genuinely missed everybody. Pep's going mental on the touchline. <laughs> City have taken control of this game in the last 10 minutes. It's been all City, possession-wise. Stones is having a bit of an argument with Pep about something. Hopeful ball by Jack Grealish to uh, Alvarez. And Alvarez somehow gets a touch on it, but couldn't quite keep the ball once he gets there. Chelsea looking to spring a counter-attack. Transition, he's got to be offside, referee. Nicholas Jackson's off one-on-one. On one. He's round Ortega, but he slowed it down. Nathan Acker gets back and clears the ball. And is there an offside flag? Because if there's not, we've just got away with murder. And there's no offside flag. I still do, uh, Ben Deve. I do remember that Old Trafford game. Pissed me right off it did. Adna yet Harlan's injured. And there's rumours that he might not be playing against Brighton as well. Oh, Devious said it there. He's out for Brighton. Yeah, there's rumours going around that he's done for the Brighton game as well. Cole Palmer coming forward now. He's beaten Rodri. Cucurella, cross, a face to goal, and Ortega collects it. Big hands from Ortega. Oh. Cheers, Muddy Duck. Appreciate that, mate. De Bruyne is in. Oh, and it's a bit of good def quality defending from by Chalaba, to be honest. De Bruyne arguably fouled uh, Gusto on his way through. Lovely ball. Thread down the outside channel by Jack Grealish. De Bruyne on the underlap. And Chalaba gets back with a vital bit. Hey, tell you what, Ch uh, bloody Nicholas Jackson was onside. <laughs> I thought he looked miles offside. But he started within his own half. Grealish into the box. It's cleared. Hey, good to see you, Muddy Duck. You've been um, commenting on my channel a lot recently, mate, with very detailed comments. And I, and I, I just I struggle to have time, man. I, I glance at comments here and there when I can. I've been really busy lately. Um, but I really appreciate all the support and the, your comments in particular have been notable. 
on the channel and it's you talk a lot of sense mate and it's good to see you still in the chat as well hope you're good and what you're doing you're mowing the lawn you're mowing the lawn what, what did you say i can't remember where have you gone and you've gone mate but no no there you are oh, it's doing a record speed lawn cutting i would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> you're sprinting mowing the lawn like... <clears throat> have you got a ride on mower I bet you're one of those guys with like a monstrous garden and like speed lawn mowing is not, you've got like a three litre V8 engine in a lawn mower. That's what you've got, haven't you? That's what you call speed lawn mowing. <clears throat> Attempt so far, three for City. Two for Chelsea, half an hour in. Ball given away by Chelsea again. They've been they've been sloppy, mate. Both sides have been sloppy, but more Chelsea than City. Over the, now we're at what, 33 minutes into the game. City have taken control of this game, and at the back, Chelsea have gotten away with a few moments. So have City. So have City. But uh Yeah, it's not been a great standard of football. Let's see some clear-cut chances, to be honest. it's uh, It feels like a hangover game. It feels like that. It doesn't feel... Like that, that intensity, that energy that we felt in the Real Madrid game, there's none of that in this game at all. It doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels a bit flat, a little bit. And I mean, you understand City, I get City, they're, they're bound to be a little bit deflated, you know, following. And the, and considering that, they're the better side in this game so far, just, just. But Chelsea, what's their excuse? They've had a full week's rest for this game. It's the FA Cup semi-final. It's the last chance for their season to beat anything. To, to For their season to have meaning, it's the last chance. But they're not the better side, you know, they've been dodgy. In this game, Rodri was tripped up there on the way through because Bernardo Silva's coming through and he's whipped it over the bar. That was poor from Bernardo Silva, that. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. It looked like he was caught in two minds of crossing the ball or having a, a little shot, trying to whip it into that top corner. I think he's gone for a shot, actually, looking at the replay, and it was poor. He's miles off it. I agree with what Pep said in the um, pre-match to this, talking about the penalties in the game, and he says he considers them all to be heroes. Oh, fucking hell. Gusto's been sent through. Nicholas Jackson's waiting in the middle, and Kyle Walker gets back, but it's not been cleared. It's Madueki. John Stones is... Oh, what a massive tackle. Massive tackle from John Stones, that is. That is a fantastic bit of defending from John Stones. Oh, fucking hell, De Bruyne. Oh, Jesus Christ. And John Stones just clears it. What are we doing here, boys? What are we doing? John Stones coughing his... Hey, has anyone noticed? I've got a really bad cough at the minute, and I'm doing really... I've only coughed once so far, and I'm absolutely buzzing about it. Has anyone noticed Pep has been coughing in his pre-match... Any, any interview. Like, for about three or four months, he's been coughing. There is something going round, man, and I'm worried. I am worried. Like, people... John Stones is injured, is he? He's got his hands. He's is he being sick? Is he? He was look like he, he looked exactly like I've been feeling, coughing to the point where you, you're almost sick. My lad has been coughing for like six weeks. I've taken to, uh, taken him to the doctors three times, and they've sent him on his way. Just like, no, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm like, mate, he's six and he's coughing to the point where he's sick on a football pitch, he's playing football, and Rodri's just booted one horribly, horribly over the bar. Um, but Ke Pep's coughing and shit. I've been coughing for fucking ages. What is going on in this country right now? There is something dodge going round. It really is. Do you work in a school, Ryan? Yeah, work in a school and the kids are dropping left, right and centre. COVID. Could be COVID. I've, I've tested for COVID. It's not COVID, devious. But, so, I mean, it could be the aftermath of COVID. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it's like, 
everything, all illnesses seem different now since COVID. Like normal colds seem weird. Do you know what I mean? Chelsea are in here. Cucurella has been sent down the wing. Inside, into Caicedo, and it's a poor touch, but it's a poor touch from Nathan Ake, and John Stones clears his lines just about. Madaweki's getting underneath it. I mean, Chelsea have uh, been gifted opportunities here, similar to the same transitional phases that they're trying to impose on the game, like Real Madrid did, breaking on Manchester City. Count oh, I mean, oh, this is John Stones, it's Chalaba. Cole Palmer, he's done Rodri, he's done him, and he's... At, oh, he's wonderful save from Ortega. Cole Palmer, he absolutely sent Rodri for a hot dog there, mate. He absolutely did him. But he gets his shot away, and Ortega with a big right fan. That's a, that's a foul referee. No? Fucking hell, yeah, he's giving it. Oh, he's giving a City throw-in. It was a Chelsea throw-in or a City free kick. He's giving a City throw-in. Cole Palmer there, that's class. Got to hold your hats off to it. Take your hats off to him, man. That's uh, He's absolutely done, Rodri, there. And then he tried to uh, cushion it, whip it with his left foot into that bottom corner. Big save by Ortega, but one you expect him to save, to be honest. Grealish, foul. Lovely. Typical Jack Grealish there. <sighs> Stefan, the wheels are really starting to wobble. Can't defend well and not creating chances. I mean, we have created the biggest chance of the game, considering uh, what Foden did, but... I agree. There is, a, there is to an extent. I agree. There is. A, this is the game. I think this is the ninety minutes that defines whether we call the Real Madrid knockout as a as a part of a run, a negative run, like a, a downside, a, a bad end to the season. If we allow the rot to grow, you know, you just cut the rot out and start fresh. You know, if we can start fresh in this game, beat Chelsea, knock them out, we'll forget about that Real Madrid game to an extent and we'll move on, you know, we'll move on and we'll talk about the Premier League and the FA Cup going forward. But if we get knocked out of the Champions League and then knocked out of the FA Cup three days later, the Premier League starts to feel very, like, hot and high pressure. And it's, it's not a, a, an easy running that all of a sudden those fixtures like Brighton away, Spurs away, they start to look bad. And I mentioned it, reluctantly mentioned it um, in my preview. I can't remember which preview it was. I think it was before the Arsenal game. I said there was a narrative in this season where everything goes wrong. And it, there's a narrative that very much suits like rivals to Manchester City where we get Real Madrid get their revenge on Manchester City, that was the point I made a couple of weeks ago. We play Man United in the FA Cup final and lose. Man United get their revenge on Manchester City. We drop too many points in the Premier League and Arsenal get their revenge and win the Premier League and beat Manchester City to the Premier League title. That's a narrative that's a nightmare scenario for Manchester City fans. Unfortunately, point one of three being Real Madrid, that's happened already. That's happened already. So now we've got to nullify this and prevent point two and three from happening. And we can start looking at this season a little bit more positively, but we've got to beat Chelsea first. You know, we've got to beat Chelsea to even get to those situations. Ball in by Gusto, back post. Walker chests it a little bit, <laughs> a little bit hard into Ortega, but he keeps it, holds the ball. Yeah, I was, Aaron. I wasn't feeling well, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing at how much I'm able to talk right now and not cough. You have no idea how much I've been coughing in the last couple of days. Half time, fast approaching. Foden's been uh, lively in this game. He's been a bit of a bright spark. 
That's it, section 20. Come on, blues. 100%, mate. After that little narrative, that little story, that picture that I painted for you. It wasn't good, was it? Oh, everyone gets their revenge on City. Hopefully not, mate. Ake into Akanji. Akanji out to Rodri. Walker with a touch of a fucking hippopotamus. What the fuck was that? It's just a simple ball. He just like he tried to touch it and just goes flying up into the air. I've been a big fan of Walker this year. I think he's been put under some unfair criticism, but he's been poor in this game so far. Walker into De Bruyne. Oh. wasn't Walker, by the way. It was Foden. I just said I'd Walker on the mind. But uh, City trying to nick a goal here before half time. Alvarez, who's been all right so far, his, his hold up play's been great. And it was just there. Foden, that's a foul referee. Free kick in a very dangerous area. More of a crossing situation than a uh, shooting. Yeah, Red Camp, I agree with you. But I do want to move on from Gundawan and Mares. I do want to move on. It's not like we can get them back, is it? I agree with you. We've, we've missed them. But, um, you know, you got to take what it is. I think we need to move on with the players that we've got. Let's take them for what they are and use them to the best of our advantage and forget about the past. I think next summer it will be big. The transfer market. I feel like City have got a war chest of money. To, to throw at the transfer market that I don't think people have seen yet. I think when we went in for 100 million for Jack Grealish, I think everyone was like, wow, that was big money. We've not really done that since then. Free kick, Foden. It's over everybody, is it? Yeah, poor. It was a poor free kick. Uh, Johnny, who do you think is going to be the next iconic City player since Aguero? I think, what, that we've not signed or that we have signed that's currently at the squad. Currently, it's Kevin De Bruyne, isn't it, really? I mean, he's the the biggest icon at the club. And I think Haaland is actually not far behind as an icon, as a, as a brand. As a player, he could do better this season. Akanji's won the ball back. De Bruyne, that's a foul, is it, referee? The ball's like pinball, mate. Chelsea have been sloppy at the back. But going forward, there's a threat. But yeah, future player, I've no idea, mate. But currently, there is Kevin De Bruyne as, a, as the best player at City. What are Chelsea doing there? Madueke and Gusto just booting the ball off each other. Ake takes a quick free kick. Grealish, 1-2. Fucking hell, ref. That's a yellow card all day long. Caicedo, defensive midfielder who likes to put in a tackle has brought down Jack Grealish for a yellow card and it's a yellow card all day long right I need a piss by the way and that's going to happen at half time and the missus has just texted me saying she's locked out of the house so I better go and let her in I better go and let her in <laughs> she's out and that was half an hour ago man oh no I didn't lock the door. You should take your keys with you. It's not my fault. Shit. Half an hour outside the house. With a baby as well. That's not good. Oh! It's into the box. And it's cleared. Sleeping on... I, I didn't lock the door, section 20. I didn't lock the door. You know, it serves you right. Not taking your keys with you. She's terrible for taking the keys with her. Foden. Dummy. Out to Bernardo Silva. And the cross is somehow back to Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne whips it over everybody. It's poor from Kevin De Bruyne. I think my son's with her, uh, Clara. Well, he is with her. I, don't know, I think he is with her. Shashwa. That's it. I'm 100% cooked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't really do anything wrong, to be fair. But I also put my phone on Do Not Disturb as well. So, uh. anyway, two minutes of injury time, fast approaches. I need a piss more than anything. 
I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go for a pee before I even let her in, so that's gonna get me in trouble even more. Rodri's looking for a foul there, but doesn't get it. Yeah, that's right, Clara. My whole family has been locked out for half an hour. <laughs> well, take your keys with you. That's what they're for. <laughs> you know what I mean? The door locks on your way out. So get bring take your keys and you can get back in. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to get the blame for that. But uh, Gusto coming forward. Can Chelsea nick one before half time? They've given it... Oh, no, I thought they had given it away. Nicholas Jackson lays it off for Gusto. Gallagher down the left-hand side. He's coming inside. Enzo. Into Cole Palmer. Good pressing by Manuel Akanji. Madaweki. Seconds remain in this half. Your wife locks the door and leaves the key in the door. Mate, my missus leaves the car key in the car. So if you know where I live, feel free. Come and help yourself to a free car. It's in the driveway with the car in the ignition sometimes. Help yourselves. No worries. Anyway, that's half time. I better go and sort my life out. Better go and sort my family out. I also need a pee. And that's happening first. Enjoy the chair. Have a chat. See you later. She's not even there. She's gone. I imagine she's gone to her parents, which isn't far from here. It's around the corner. So I just need to text her saying that the door is now open. You fool. The door is now open. You imbecile. Don't know how to spell that. So call that fool instead. There we go. Is she in the chat? I doubt she would come into a, a City fan chat. She's an avid United fan, so I doubt it. <clears throat> but it would be funny if she was. I've had mates appear in the chat before, you know. But not the missus. Uh, at least we have a few options off the bench. Doku, Bob can inject some ma uh, much needed second uh, pace, second half. Yeah, not much gold on the bench though, is there, Muddy Duck? You know? I don't think we've got much gold on the pitch, really. Foden is our, big, uh, our biggest goal threat this year, with Alvarez being second, probably. But... Um, 
Yeah, there's not much goals in this side. And, and when you can when you factor in form, Alvarez who's bang out of form right now, and I feel like Alvarez is uh, a quality player. We've got a, a huge promising player there that I still don't feel like we've seen the best of him. Um but as of late, when he's played, he's he's struggled here and there. But so has Haaland. It's not like he's, oh, Haaland's therefore better than Alvarez or vice versa. I feel like they've both... We've got two strikers that are bang out of form. And that's really frustrating. Then you look at Foden, who has been probably our best player over the course of the whole season, from start to where we are now. I feel like Foden's been player of the year. He's not really... like He's, he's dipped a little bit. And I'm talking like the last three games, really. I mean, obviously the Real Madrid game, he, didn't re he was a bit quiet in that game. In this game, I feel like Foden's been a bright spark. I think he's been pretty lively and he's been playing centrally as well, which is uh, a lot of people's criticism for Pep more than Foden, obviously, because he's been told to play on the right. Um, but he's looked good in the middle. And that's playing with Kevin De Bruyne. So... You know, you really have seen two number 10s of Phil Foden and Kevin De Bruyne playing behind Alvarez. Which is the is the antidote to the to the Haaland haters? Everyone who's got a problem with Haaland right now, this is the team that they've been crying out for. You know, De Bruyne and Foden behind Julian Alvarez. And while that's the case, it's not really looked any better than we did the other night. If anything, we've looked worse than we did against Real Madrid. Now, you're wondering whether there's a bit of this going on, a bit of, like, sympathy for themselves, feeling sorry for themselves, like, after the Real Madrid game. You're wondering if that's playing a part, but still, you know, I don't think we've looked... Like, we've not created a bag full of chances. Chelsea have been sloppy at the back. Really sloppy, in fact. And I think City have been a bit sloppy. Kyle Walker's gotten away with a few. Um moments as well. Akanji got spun by Nicholas Jackson but and didn't really come to anything. Nathan Ake dealt with it really well. Nathan Ake has been good in this first half as well. Kyle Walker has been sloppy. Um, again, gotten away with it. Rodri, he's been alright. He got absolutely dusted by Cole Palmer but Cole Palmer has been doing that to everyone this season. Um, so yeah, I... I I, it's hard to to expect more from this City side considering they're feeling sorry for themselves a little bit following on the Real Madrid game. The hand has been forced by Pep Guardiola to play Alvarez in this game. Does, do we not need to play like Doku? That's what I'm calling out for in this game. I feel like this is the perfect game for Doku. Doku must be frustrated considering his impact in the, in, in the second half I feel like Jack Grealish has just been like, could have done more. He could have done a lot more in this game, Jack Grealish, in that first half. And I'd like to see Doku in the second half. I'd like to see just a, a different dynamic to the way we approach the game. Because Jack, they're looking at him now. They're actually, I don't know what they're saying, but the highlight, it's all very much a highlighted what Jack Grealish's role is in this team. And he's, that was a good bit of play. They're laying it off for Alvarez before Alvarez's shot was blocked by De Bruyne, of all people. But, um, yeah, Jeff, member for four months, mate. You are an absolute legend, Jeff. You really are. Ake, game winner. Johnny, we love you. This season has been so fun watching along with Typical City. Thank you for all your hard work, mate. Thank you, Jeff. That's really good of you, mate. Really, really appreciate that. Um, I could work harder, in truth. I don't want to sound too diminishing of what I've done this this year in terms of the channel. There's more. There's I've got more capacity. You know, I'm not. I wouldn't call myself a part-time YouTuber, um, but I've had other things to juggle, and there's, there's I've, I've got more capacity. Put it that way. I can do more. I could definitely do more, um, and be more consistent, and, and make more videos, make more different variations of videos, get more guests on potentially do different things. Um, and it's just been a bit steady Eddie this year, but uh, I really appreciate your support, mate. Really appreciate it. Marie, also member for four months. Smash the like button, likes and uh, sub. Amazing city content. Appreciate that, Marie. Thank you very much. 
you and Jeff are both absolute legends. Really appreciate it. Beyond Toxic. Uh, Doku for Silver. Seems like the move. Also, Rico and Nunez would add energy. It's logic behind what you've said there, mate. There is logic. Um, the only thing I would... Jack Grealish, he came off, didn't he? So he's probably got more energy. Considering Bernardo Silva played the full 120 minutes against Real Madrid, Jack Grealish came off in that game for Doku. You might have a point there that maybe put Doku on the right for, for Silva, potentially, yeah. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be bringing on all three at one go, though. Rico and Nunes. And I agree with what you say, though. Uh, they would Nunes, in particular, would add an energy to the game. Completely agree with that. Um, Rico's a defensive type of energy, though, isn't he? And like, he's, he's energy, but Nunes is just like, bam, 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 isn't he? Um, Adam Lee becoming a welcome to typical city. As a legend, mate. Love it, Adam. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. If anyone else wants to support the channel and become a member of Typical City, you can do so by clicking in the link in the description. Drop a like while you're navigating your way around all that text beneath this video. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Like Tyson uh, Boatug says as well. Let's all subscribe to Typical City. Yeah, please do, mate. You've grown so much as a channel, Johnny, and created a great community, regardless of how much time you have dedicated or could dedicate to the channel. I appreciate that, Clara. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you know, when you feel like you could do more, I'm really pleased with what I've done. I'm proud of what I've done. And like you guys, I mean, I'm proud that you guys like me, you know. <coughs> but, um, yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> it's the worst time to get a cough because now my eyes are watering and it looks like I'm getting emotional. <laughs> About, <laughs> I'm not. I've just got a really sore throat. <clears> throat> I'm not emotional. I, I, I don't take this that seriously, to be honest. I probably should. But I'm certainly not getting emotional. But I appreciate you subscribers. Oh, all the subscribers. <laughs> no, I genuinely do. I genuinely do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I feel like I could do more next year. I feel like I could do more. I plan to do more as well, which would be nice. I need to check my phone, guys. Sorry. No, I think she's just gone to her parents, which is fine. Yeah, my little girl's a big Teletubby fan right now. So, uh, and I don't know why I mentioned that. I just, I just saw a picture of her and I just thought I'd tell you that my little girl is a Teletubbies fan. What a boring bit of information for anyone who doesn't know who my family are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in terms of this, this, what needs to happen in the second half for uh, City, I think we do need to see um, Doku. And I agree with Beyond Toxic that Rico and Nunes would add energy. But I'm not sure Pep. He even said it, to be fair. And those people who are curious about why Pep doesn't make substitutions, after the Real Madrid game, he said that, didn't he? He said, I don't really like doing it. And that's the first time I've ever heard him say it. You know, it's clear as day that he doesn't like making substitutions. That Pep is not a fan of it at all. Um, which is... Yeah, we all knew that, but Pep saying it was like, okay, now now it's all we it's not a, an unwritten rule or like some unspoken agreement between the fans and Pep that Pep never makes subs. He's just come out and said it flat. I don't like making substitutions. Okay? So there's no way we're going to see like what? Uh Doku, Nunes and Rico all come onto the pitch at the same time. It's never going to happen. Um but, you know, and Steady Eddie, bring them on one at a time. I think he doesn't make substitutions at half time either. He rarely does that. But I do believe that Doku would bring something to this game. And I feel like we've missed a trick here because Doku came on. Am I am I am I did I watch a different game? Because I felt like Doku in the second half changed everything. It made us so much more potent going forward. 
And I felt like we were much more of a threat. Carvajal just could not live with Doku. But he could live with Jack Grealish. I felt like he dealt with him. Now, this isn't a case of, right, forget Jack Grealish, move on. Jack Grealish is required in certain types of games. But we've got the control, you know. We've got control of Bernardo Silva on one side of the pitch. And it's like I was mentioning in the preview. And, and the types of crosses that come into the pitch, in, into the box. For Erling Haaland, he wants crosses coming in from that left-hand side. For, from the Jack Grealish side, from the Doku side. Not the Oscar Bob side or the Bernardo Silva side or the Phil Foden side. He prefers crosses coming in from the other side because that's where he can get on it. Hard and low crosses with his left foot, he can strike it cleanly. Whereas coming in from the other side, you've got to wait for that ball to come across your body. And that's a, that's a, a difficult manoeuvre and it gives that extra half second to the defender to, to get in and intercept the cross or block the shot that's going to come in from Erling Haaland. Now, I feel like that's why Pep played Doku on the left. Everyone thought, well, Doku's going to be a right winger. He's always at Lens. He, he was playing at right wing. He's played right wing for Belgium quite often. But at City, he's played on the left because he wants to see the, the ball coming in from that side, from the byline. But today, we've got Alvarez on the pitch, which is a totally different type of striker. He will come and collect the ball. He will get involved in midfield and lay it off for people. Haaland doesn't want the battle. He doesn't want to do that. Haaland wants to turn, sprint towards goal, and get on the end of a cross. That's all he wants to do. Is either a threaded through ball, which is never going to happen when the low block, Ruben Diaz is on the pitch. So that's got to be John Stones. Is he injured again? Fuck's sake. What the fuck? John Stones is injured again. I'm imagining because Ruben Diaz is coming on. I need another pee already. Like, I've got some honey here. I think I need some honey. Because my throat is stinging. Just got to wait for the honey to arrive. Oh, man, that was way too much. Oh. Oh, second half's underway. Bloody hell. Need to start the timer properly. Let's put a little bit of uh, extra addition. Yeah, so a couple of seconds behind that clock, but not too far. Scott with the Super Chat 20, mate. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> Please keep this going. Dropping knowledge and refreshing not to hear half-baked views and hot takes. Thoughts on our tactics. Now that teams are so compact in defence, closing off the um, the very pockets of space we play through. I was almost going into it while you were talking there, mate. While, while I was reading that, while you sent that super chat, I was sort of talking about it a little bit. Um, that I feel like we've had to... We, we, like You look at the signing of Doku, Savio's coming in. There's rumours of more wingers coming in as well. It's getting to the byline and getting those crosses in to, to Erling Haaland. I feel like that's the best way. It is, it's a little bit more aggressive, you know, is it, beating the fullback. You know, rather than beating... The, there was an emphasis, if you look at all the dribbling stats from the players that we signed, including Gavardiol. <coughs> Bloody hell. What are we doing here, boys? Madaweki Over the bar, it was... Oh, Bad ball by, I think, Ruben Diaz or Kyle Walker. And Ortega has tried to do the best with it. Trying to volley. This pass to Ortega has just gone straight up in the air. Is it Rodri? It was Rodri's poor ball to Ortega. Gave him a nightmare pass. And Ortega... Ortega has the decency to apologise, mate. That is not your fault. That was a bad ball to you. The ball was just chipped into the air and he had to volley it. And he just ended up landing at the feet of Madaweki, whose shot goes over the bar, thankfully. But, yeah, Scott, in answer to your question, and I appreciate, really appreciate your super chat, um, I feel like it's wingers, old old school wingers is the new tactics. If you're going to keep Erling Haaland, that's the answer. 
is uh, getting to the byline. He wants crosses coming in hard and low. He doesn't want crosses coming in just lumped in, like hopeful. He's not good in the air. For a big guy, he's not the greatest in the air. And he's coming up against centre-backs that are double-teaming him that makes it even harder to win your, to win your aerial duels. Nicholas Jackson's got to be offside there, surely. Nope, he's onside, but... <clears throat> My throat is going now. I thought I'd done alright here, getting to the second half. Grealish wins the ball back. So Stones must be injured then. That's a huge blow. <clears throat> I've got so much bloody medicine in front of me. Oh no, Nicholas Jackson's in. Oh, big save from Ortega. What a save. Still danger's not gone. Back post. Ortega with another save. Nicholas Jackson header. Back post. Ortega keeps us in the game. And De Bruyne gives it away. He's having a go at Foden, but the ball was never on there. That He's never going to get on the end of that for De Bruyne there. That was massive from, uh, from Ortega. <clears throat> I think we can say goodbye to my match reaction because there's no way I'm getting a match reaction out of this because my throat is just gone. I don't know why. It's all of a sudden, it's mad. This this illness is absolutely mad. 45 minutes, I was like, I feel fine. No problem. I was buzzing. Half time rolls along. No problem. Last five minutes, my throat's just gone, man. <clears throat> 100% muddy duck. Stefan Ortega. Here we go. He's onside by a mile as well. Nicholas Jackson should make it 1-0. And then Palmer's cross. Following on from the save from uh, Ortega. Nodded by uh, Nicholas Jackson. And Ortega saves again. One, the second one was a, an easier save because it was right at him. But the first one was a quality save. <clears throat> I need more honey. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Cross is blocked. Corner. Ball City. Come on, Blues. It's mad. Just eating honey out of the pot. It's grim, really. It's pretty it's disgusting behaviour. To be honest, <laughs> no one's eating that again, are they? It's like ball in near post, cleared. <clears throat> Foden somehow keeps it in. So the thing with John Stones going off, Ruben Diaz is playing centre back, which is where John Stones was playing. It's crazy that how well John Stones played last season in that defensive midfield position. But he, tr he clearly, Pep, trusts Manuel Akanji more than John Stones. <coughs> to the point where do we not need to start calling it the Akanji role? Because he, they were on the pitch at the same time. Rub the honey on your left ear. I feel like you're, you're having me on there, Jeff. I feel like you're... Does, my left ear... Is it red? Yeah, they're always red, aren't they? They always go red. It's bloody boiling in this room, man. It's absolutely red hot. The Rodri, mate, is giving it away. Nicholas Jackson, one-on-one. -on -one, but City players are getting back. And they get the ball sort of away. No. Oh, fucking hell. It's been dodgy at the back. It's been a dodgy, dodgy performance from sort of... Rodri's been in uh, a little... That's a lovely ball from Rodri, as I'm saying that. It was great ball, but before that, Rodri was really sloppy. Mm. 
He pings one out, Rodri does, to Jack Grealish with space in the area. Jackie boy, Phil Foden, saved by Petrovic. Fired across the face of goal by Jack Grealish and Phil Foden first time. That's what I was talking about. You know that first time effort when you're a left-footed player, the ball coming across onto your left side. You can hit it first time. No messing about. De Bruyne's cross is blocked by Cucurella. Corner ball. Foden, short corner. I'm seeing it's cleared by Gusto. <sighs> Grealish. <clears throat> Phone's going fucking mental now. Nicholas Jackson's been sent away. Kyle Walker's chasing. He's going down the left wing, though. Jackson holds it up. not I've got to say guys I've not been impressed by this City performance I don't think Chelsea have played brilliantly it's just we've allowed them to look better than they've been playing it's a free kick Jack Grealish has given it away giving a free kick away it was a bit of a, a silly place to do that there really <laughs> Man. So sorry guys, laryngitis is like not gone at all, but <clears throat> Chelsea have had five shots on target to City's one. <clears throat> Free kick from Cole Palmer. Coming in. Is he going to shoot? He does. Oh, it's deflected. Wide. Wide. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, he's claiming handball here. Cole Palmer's claiming handball. Referee saying, hold on. Let's have another look at this. Oh, Jackie boy. What have you done, mate? It's a handball. It's going to be a penalty. I'll be surprised if this isn't given as a penalty. Jack Grealish's arm is out. It's out by his side. His, his arm's gone towards the ball. For me, that is a penalty. Wow. No penalty. Wow. Michael Oliver goes, no penalty. Play on. I disagree. I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. That was a penalty. That was a penalty. He stuck his arm out. He moved his arm towards the ball. You know, that, by the definition of the law, is a penalty. I mean, I'm glad it's not been given as a penalty. Don't get me wrong, but fucking hell. Got away with that one here. We're getting away with a lot in this game. Which, considering how the Real Madrid game panned out, maybe we're getting a bit of luck that we didn't get against Real Madrid. But that was a penalty. <clears throat> Jack Grealish brings the ball down left hand side one on one with Gusto cross comes in cleared by Cucurella <clears throat> kept alive by Manuel Kanji. offside <clears throat> Nasser it hits his body first I don't think it does mate I'll have another look at this let's have another look doesn't it hits his arm It just hits his arm. Jack Grealish, who, out of the three players in the wall, Jack Grealish is the middle one. The wall was poor. It breaks, which is the, a nightmare for a goalkeeper. It breaks the wall. And as, as that gap appears between, I think it's Foden and Grealish, Grealish sticks his arm out. The ball hits here and deflects. It's a penalty. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. 
somewhere a bridge is screaming. Probably a golden one as well. <clears throat> Ruben Diaz taking the free kick here. Uh, goal kick, sorry. And he passes it to Ortega. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's the point? Akanji's doing fucking turns in the penalty area and gets away with that as well. What are we playing at here, boys? Still got the ball. That's In fairness to City, that's good that we got away with that. And, I mean, we kept the ball and pff, risky. <clears throat> Going to have to have a strepsil. It's what the doctor said. The, do the doctor said, um, do not do watch-alongs. He said, don't do any talking for too long because your throat will go. Um, and it can be permanent damage, apparently. Permanent with laryngitis, where you get chronic laryngitis to the point where you can't talk properly and it changes your voice forever. How mad would that be? So, running a bit of a risk here. Jack Grealish. He's got space. He's thinking about the shot and it's blocked. Corner ball to City. I'm going to have to go for a pee in a minute because all that water's just gone through me. <coughs> oh. Bob time, says Scott. Maybe, mate. I'd say Doku. I'd get Doku on first and then Bob if we need him. Alvarez with the corner. Over everybody. And it's cleared by Chalaber. Grealish. Out to Alvarez. Left foot crossed by Alvarez. Akanji. And it's cleared again. Jackie Boy. Thinking about the shot. And he's dispossessed. And Nicholas Jackson is... Bursting past Kyle Walker here. And that's a dive. And a goal kick. And I'm going to go for a peek before I explode. Sorry, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Still nil-nil. <coughs> this one's going to extra time, isn't it? See it bloody happening. Grealish. Down the left side. Back to De Bruyne. Okay. Section 20, still believing. Going to win this in the 90. I hope so, mate. I mean, so far, Chelsea have looked the more likely to score. <coughs> Good to see you, Timmy. He's got the feeling we'll win. 
I don't know why, I just don't feel like we will. <laughs> and Rodri gives it away. <clears throat> Jack Grealish is down here. I think it's, it's substitution time now. I think Pep needs to make a change here. <clears throat> <coughs> he stayed down as well, Jack. <clears throat> that might be the excuse he needs to take him off. Jeff with the gifted typical city membership. Absolutely love it, Jeff. Appreciate that. And Coogan did not wait around. Absolutely in there like lightning. Coogan with a gifted membership. My throat, man. <coughs> every word hurts. <laughs> like I can't stress to you how much every word hurts. First half, I was absolutely fine. And I knew I was running a risk by doing this watch along. But, yeah, it is what it is. Ugh. And there we go. Doku. Onto the pitch he comes. And it looks like it is for Jack Grealish. So that is exactly what I said. There's your excuse. Get him off. Because he's... On the floor, he looks hurt. And on comes Jeremy. Fuck off, knitting. Yeah, you fucking boring bastard, mate. See you later, you twat. What an absolute fucking prick. <clears throat> In a bit. I'm all for people having, like, problems with City and, like, see you later and, like, you're just having a pop and banter and stuff, but it's like... Where was he, you know, when we started doing well? Like, all of a sudden, it's like these negative people, man. And it's like, I'm not even sure he is a City fan, you know. And, and I'm oh, I'm open to non-City fans coming on here and, and giving banter. If it's like, if it makes sense, if it's like logical and like there's, there's, a, there's a point to the banter. But it's like... You've got to have two sides to it. You know, you've got to be fair. You've got to take the criticism when, when, you, when you're in the wrong. You know, you can't vanish. You know, and I consider him to be a, a, a real wind-up merchant to the point where it's like, it's pointless. You know, he's just a bit of a dick, really. Long ball over the top for Alvarez to chase. <laughs> <coughs> it was just knitting, knitting, knit. Whatever the hell he's called, Clara. I'm just a bit fed up with him. He's always in. He only comes in the chat when City aren't winning. He comes in the chat when City aren't winning, and he starts having a pop at everyone. Starts having a pop at City, and it's like I, again, like I'm, I, I'm all for people having freedom of speech and all that, but he's just a bit of a twat. Docky was in space there. It was a poor ball to him. Cole Palmer's done us here. And Caicedo's in. He's got to make this 1-0 Chelsea. 
And it's absolutely shocking from Caicedo. Got away with murder. City there. Cole Palmer's just done us in midfield. Turned us. Sent Caicedo away. Caicedo with space to run into. And I don't even know what he's trying there. Is he shooting? Is he crossing? He's crossing. But it's awful. But Cole Palmer's just been... The, the main threat from Chelsea has come through Cole Palmer. Nicholas Jackson's not been far behind. <clears throat> and Chelsea have got the ball back. Madueki. Still Cole Palmer. Surely we're going to take three on one on Cole Palmer. It took three City players to get the ball off Cole Palmer then. Doku. Well played, Doku. Feeds. De Bruyne. De Bruyne's ball is behind Foden. Man on, mate. He's kept the ball there. Rodri. Sprays it out to Bernardo Silva. All of the touches just seem a bit heavy. Bernardo Silva now. Doku. 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 Oh! Shots saved. That's the first attempt in the second half. And it's come from Jeremy Doku. Would I take uh, Palmer back? Yeah, I would. I mean, if if we got to say, right, you can have your 40 million and call Palmer back. Yeah, of course. 100%. <clears throat> but let's move on. He's a, he's a Chelsea player now. He's a good, very good player. And he's a Chelsea player. Doku. Who beats Gusto. Gets the ball in to Alvarez. De Bruyne! And it's wide. Doku in the space of two minutes has proven why he should have started this game for me. Gets to the byline. Gets his cross in. Alvarez lays it off for De Bruyne and De Bruyne whips it wide of the po uh, of the far post. But the overall football from City is good. It looks better with Doku. <coughs> I'm going to order a cup of tea. In the hope that it comes up, but considering I locked her out, well, she locked herself out of the house. But considering she's been locked out of the house for half an hour, I've got some bloody nerve, haven't I, asking for a cup of tea. <laughs> but I'm out of liquid. I've got no more liquid in front of me. I'm not going to sit here drinking my own piss, am I? So I'm out of liquid, which means I'm done for this watch along. If I can't drink anymore, I won't be able to speak. So <laughs> I kind of need some fluid. Oh, Ake with a quick throw. Doku keeps it down the line. Doku, he beats Gusto. Oh, he nearly beats Gusto. Gets the cross blocked. Corner ball. And he's, he's been so lively already. Jeremy. Jeremy Doku. City fans giving it large there. Good. Looks like a packed City end to me. <sighs> Gusto's gone down. Could it be an injury? Do I think she will bring it? I don't know. She's, I don't know. I hope so, Franz. Could I have a cup of tea, please? Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> See the difference in like the the streaming Johnny versus the. Can I have a cup of tea, please? Can I have a cup of tea, please? <laughs> See the little insight into uh, Johnny's personal life. Yeah, she's making it already, so she's a legend. But Gusto's gone down, and he's been a real. Quality player for Chelsea. <clears throat> um, not just in this game, lately, in general. The last four or five games, Gusto's been really, really good. And Doku has just sent him to the medical room. She said, piss off, Franz. No, she said, um, yeah, she'll make one. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
This is going to extra time, innit? My voice can't do extra time, for fuck's sake. Somebody score. <laughs> I won't be able to do half an hour more of this. My throat's on fire. <coughs> Pep looks frustrated. He looks really frustrated. I'm good, uh, Light Rock. Hope you're good. Gusto looks like he's coming back on, by the way. So, uh, what was hoping to see the the end of Gusto and Doku running riot down that left hand side? It's not going to be the case because he's staying on the pitch. Oh, Kanji smashed it against Cole Palmer. Nicholas Jackson, and he gets back a Kanji, but shot comes in, blocked by Rodri. This is. Uh... I don't know which way this game's going to go. City have edged it, I think. Certainly possessional wise, you know, in terms of control of the ball. But this half, I feel like Chelsea have edged the chances. <clears throat> you know, the Nicholas Jackson one, the double Nicholas Jackson one, in fact, the one on one with Ortega, then the header that was saved a minute later. I do have a good one, Adam. She is all right. For a United fan, she's very good. You know? <laughs> but she is a United fan still, so... Could be better. <laughs> I'm joking. Doku, he's beating Gusto. That's a foul referee. No? Absolute nonsense. Doku's beating him there, and Gusto gets none of the ball whatsoever and flattens Doku. Referee says play on. Nathan Ake's gone down and he's writhing in pain, holding his knee. That's not a good look. He's okay. Seems all right. Ball down the line for Alvarez to chase. City are turning the screw a little bit here, I think. And I think that's Doku. Doku's introduced this. Here he is, Doku. Shot's blocked. Conor Gallagher's somehow going to get rid of it, is he not? And the ball is collected by Petrovic. <clears throat> do I get following from outside the UK? I think I do, mate. Yeah, I think I do. There's um, a lot. I've had Thailand, America, South Africa, um, multiple places. Get in the chat and tell me where you're from if you're not from any of those places that I just named. But, um, yeah. There goes my cup of tea. Hang on a minute, though, because Chelsea are coming down the right wing. With Madueki down the line to Gusto. Akanji steps in. That's a corner ball, is it? Yeah, corner ball to Chelsea. Clara's in Switzerland. It's not in my Man City mug. It's in my Mr. Cool mug. Which you can't see yet. Ortega's down here. Mr. Cool. There's nothing cool about me whatsoever, but fucking boiling as well. It's going to burn my throat. But Ortega's down here. What's going on here? <clears throat> Kendall's in Trinidad and Tobago. Mumbai. I was just drinking a um, an Indian pale ale, and it was delicious. But now I'm onto a cup of tea because my throat's on fire. <coughs> What's happened to Ortega here? This isn't like tactics or anything, like planning for a penalty shootout. Because he's like holding his calf. Vietnam. 
Di Lorenzo, good to see you, mate. Big up to Vietnam. Scott thinks beer makes my uh, ears go red. I don't know what it is, but they just they, they just go red. I think it's when I'm hot. You know, like Kevin De Bruyne's face. It's my ears. All the blood just goes to my ears. <clears throat> it's a hot room, this room. Corner ball's eventually coming in. Conor Gallagher. And it's cleared by Ruben Diaz. Edge of the area. Caicedo. Gusto dinks it in. Cole Palmer. And it's goal kick. Manchester City. 78th minute. Nil-nil. It's been a... What do you think about the standard of football that we've seen? I think it's been bang average. Really average. Chelsea making substitutions here. De Sarsi. And Mudrick coming on. <coughs> Got the Dane over, up there. I missed you before. Uh, from Denmark. Good to see you, mate. Who's fear? When I say Pep should be sacked, is for the best. <laughs> right, that's a warning. It's clear to me Foden cannot replace Kevin. Why is it clear to you, fear? Explain yourself. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Why? Why can't Foden replace Kevin? <clears throat> need to get Doku on the ball and not in positions like that. You need to get him up the pitch. <clears throat> Let's have some more honey. I hope there's not like a a late goal in this from Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? Like, just like a Kanji foul, surely. Yep, given. Um, Two hundred in the building with one hundred and forty six likes. Thank you very much. I promise to be back to my best once this cold. I know this watch long's been a bit shit, and like the game's been shit as well. To be fair. Um, but I'm not at my best right now, and I will be back, I promise. I feel like I'm letting everyone down by just being a bit, like, you know, anticlimactic a little bit. You know, not my best. But I will be back. Uh, Ake, Doku. One-on-one -on -one with Dasasi, with Mudrick as well. Doku. Goes to the byline, turns back. Ake. De Bruyne. Ake. Whipped in by Ake, and it's cleared. Ruben Diaz has been solid since he's come on. And Bernardo Silva's got the ball. He's been quiet all game, really, Bernardo. Foden lays it off to De Bruyne. Ake. <coughs> Doku. <clears throat> Good ball to Rodri. Rodri onto his left foot. Oh, and he's gone for the pass. I thought he was going to shoot. Bernardo Silva. Akanji down the line. Across Alvarez over the bar. Oh, mate. That was good football. Good football until the finish. I think Alvarez has done all right in this game. He's not done badly. He's done all right. That finish, poor. But other than that, he's been all right. I mean, and I say poor, it was shockingly bad finish. But um, he's a man lacking confidence. Completed passes, 100 each. What does that mean? That can't be in the whole game. It's like the BBC and the standard of their stats are just a joke. It just said, completed passes, Chelsea 100, Manchester City 100. 
in what, 90 minutes? There's been 100 passes each in the, in the full 82 minutes we've played. Bollocks. <laughs> what are the BBC doing, man? <clears throat> Foden's been booked. Why has he been booked? Fear. Foden is not willing to take risky decisions like Kevin and try something. What do you mean, like pinging one in the top corner at the Bernabeu? Yeah, that wasn't risky at all. <clears throat> Long ball. Doku brings it down. Lovely. De Sarsi's playing right back. So it was Gusto who went off. So Chalaba's still in the middle. Akanji. Doku. Doku. Down the line to De Bruyne. De Bruyne across the face of goal. It's Bernardo Silva and it's 1-0 Manchester City. In the 83rd minute, we've done the fucking business. We're bouncing back. Can we do it? Let's put every little last drop of fucking pain into my throat because it's on fire and it's worth it. We're 1-0 up. We're going to do this. Let's bounce back. Bernardo Silva who's had a quiet game and Manchester City are 1-0 up regardless of the performance, regardless of what happened against Real Madrid. We're fucking doing this and we're winning the game. Come on. Like, you don't understand. Like, it's just God. And you can hear it. It's just God. <coughs> <coughs> oh. I was just nearly sick. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's 1 0. <clears throat> oh. I'll tell you what, Doku. Big, big role from uh, Jeremy Doku in this goal. <clears throat> there we go, a late goal. Late goal and Manchester City could be heading to the FA Cup final. Oh, my throat. I'm so glad this is not going to extra time. There's zero chance of a match reaction. Apologies for that. But... Fucking right, Ryan. Come on, Coventry. Can I use sign language? Um, I'm getting... No, actually. Is that is that water? I don't know. I need water. Is that water? I feel like that's water. The reason I know that is because my little girl watches, like, um, a YouTuber called Miss Rachel, who's, like, this well-renowned, like... She's basically the, uh, our, uh, a third parent... Um, that, that's just, but she does sign language as well, which is really good. So I've been watching that and like teaching me a bit of sign language. So, but no, in in truth, I can't do sign language. <laughs> Certainly not. Bernardo Silva makes it one nil to Manchester City. I've no chance of doing that. What do you do? Like, with a little... I don't know what I don't know what that is, but I've definitely insulted some deaf people who were. Uh, as if there's a deaf person watching this. As if there's a deaf person watching this. I mean, there might be. I do more hand gestures than most people, don't I? I could fucking land a plane, I could, but... Ortega coming forward with the ball down the right-hand side. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's don't You did not hear that incorrectly. That was Ortega coming down the right-hand side, defensively, to be fair. But uh, he came out, won the ball. De Bruyne has been booked. <clears throat> Kalein, you're deaf. Are you really deaf? I'm so sorry, mate, if you're deaf. Are you actually deaf? So what are you watching then? How? What, are you doing it via the... Um, what's it called? The subtitles underneath. God. I'm sorry. Tell me, was that water? Was I doing it right? Is that water? I think that's water. Because I need some. I need some water. Oh, you've absolutely bent me over a barrel, Kayline. Kaylane, whatever your name is. Whatever your name is. If that is your real name, you're clearly not deaf. And who knows what your name is, by the way. You've absolutely done me there. Because the guilt that I felt was... I felt bad. I felt like I've been dissing the deaf 
there. Closed captions, that's it. I called it subtitles, but... Ben Chilwell is on. Oh. And little Raheem Sterling is on. Ooh. Kaylane is a savage, yeah. <laughs> You've done me there, mate. <laughs> he just, like, in the chat, no one else did. He just popped his hand in the air and went, I'm deaf. And everyone went, oh, really? No, not really. He's done us. He absolutely done us, done me. Twat. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Um, Mudrick, 88th minute. Come on, City. Nothing stupid now. 1 0. We've done the job. A little bit, you know. I wouldn't say there's any fortune about the goal. I'd just say that we've gotten away with not conceding a goal in this game, considering what the opportunities Chelsea have had. Surely that's Ortega's, and it is. Good. You think about... I can't remember the first half that well, but I remember Chelsea getting opportunities. <coughs> Nicholas Jackson, uh, two chances in a short space of time. Should have been one in them. Madaweki, uh, sorry, Caicedo going down the right wing. Should have crossed it to Jackson. Didn't. Chelsea have had the better chances in the first in the second half. Just. <clears throat> but City find themselves 1-0 up. Chilwell. Lots of space and he's leaving Ruben Diaz behind him. Here. He's looking like he's leggy and it's a, a great block. Ruben Diaz eventually does enough to get back. Blocks the cross. And it's a corner ball to Chelsea. <clears throat> Kevin, you're deaf in your left ear, but you've got your other ear, mate. I'm talking about full deafness, but yeah. You, you don't need sign language. I've met you, Kevin. Ball in! Away. And we spoke face-to-face, -face and you, we had a lovely conversation face-to-face, -face, me and you, Kevin. So, um... Yeah, not quite the deaf I was talking about, but yeah. Big up to your right ear, the one that can hear. Um, bone anchored hearing aid. I don't know what that is, mate. When I was a season ticket holder at City, I used to sit next to somebody who worked for a hearing aid company that were coming up with all sort of innovative ways, like hearing aids that you can't see. Like technology, man, is crazy. <clears throat> That was a lovely bit of information I just gave you there. Eight minutes. Eight minutes of added time. Oh, piss off. Oscar Bob. Did I tell you he's on the pitch? Because he's on the pitch. And he's uh, nearly had the ball. Conor Gallagher getting back. Oscar Bob, he's going to nick that, is he? No, he's not. Chelsea are like, knocking it about well. Uh, bone anchored as a hearing aid attached to the skull. Whoa. Well, apologies, Kevin, mate, if uh, you struggle for you, with your hearing overall, but I know I know you can hear reasonably well. Doku, 1-2 with De Bruyne. De Bruyne's second ball there was poor. And Doku holds his hand up. Uh, sorry, De Bruyne holds his hand up and says, sorry. Petrovic, he's going to kick it out for a throw-in. No, nope, Chilwell keeps it in just. That's going to be intercepted by Bernardo. Oscar Bob, Rodri, De Bruyne on the edge of the area. Shot is blocked. You're thinking it could have been 2-0. And Doku's going to keep this in, is he? No, he's going to let it trickle out for a throw-in. City looking to slow the game down. De Bruyne is telling all the defenders to stay back. Do not come forward and leave us open to a counter-attack. Wise. Pochettino's got the uh, face of thunder. Looking fuming. That's a foul. But keeps the ball. Ake. Doku. Oh. 
Caicedo's beating him, taking it and dinked it forward. But Akanji, big header. Walker coming forward with it now. Bernardo Silva. The fact that we've got the ball is great. Keep it. <coughs> Rodri. Advantage played by the referee. <coughs> oh. De Bruyne. Still got the ball here. Foden. Bernardo Silva. Lovely. Lovely. Well played, Bernardo. City throwing. Five minutes to go. <clears throat> One more, lads. So that's Kevin. Everyone hit the like and subscribe for amazing live of Johnny and City, lads. Appreciate that, Marie. Foden's giving away a free kick, though. Thiago Silva sending everyone forward. Plenty of time left. Can you imagine, Lee, getting beaten by Coventry? Imagine a City Coventry FA Cup final. Definitely would prefer that to another Manchester Derby FA Cup final because that was torture, the last one. It's just United, mate. This this shit, but they find a way somehow every now and again. They find a way, don't they? They've got players that can do things. Like, that Rashford goal at the Etihad this season sums United up. The ability to do things like that, but play shit throughout either side of that goal, shite. Absolute crap. But the goal was just, like, unbelievable. <laughs> like, what a goal. So frustrating. And it's kind of how Real Madrid beat us in, the, in how they got through in that in the Champions League. It felt like the same sort of feeling where it's just like dominating, domination from City, all City, 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 City. And then Real Madrid get a goal out of nothing. And then hang on, hang on, hang on, then scrape their way to penalties. And United, that's just right up their street, that is. That is exactly the sort of thing United would do. But here comes City. Let's keep the ball. Doku down the left side. 95 minutes, about to go. <clears throat> Doku. He's beating Disasi. Keeps the ball. Well, fucking play, Jeremy. Doku keeps the ball really good. You can see all the applause behind him from the City fans. A round of applause from the Manchester City fans for uh, Jeremy Doku. But De Bruyne just plays it in a little bit aimlessly. And Petrovic picks it up. It's a free kick to Chelsea in an area of the pitch where they can at least get it into the box. That's a foul by Bernardo Silva. Oh, come on, Blues. Ball in, back post. Kept alive. Akanji cleared, not completely. Conor Gallagher, edge of the area. Oscar Barb with a big touch. Jeremy Doku bursts forward. The counter-attack is on. It's Doku, Doku, Doku. Feel like they're amazing. It's messy, 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 messy. It's not messy, it's Doku. And Do De Bruyne is taking that ball to the corner flag. How good was that commentary for the messy goal when he was 19? It's a messy, 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 messy. Encada messy, encada messy, 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 messy. Goal, 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 goal. It was so good that I want to do that for Doku one day. Because he's the sort of player that could do that. Still 1 0, Manchester City. Oscar Bob closing down Cole Palmer. The ball's out there to uh, Desarsi down the right wing. Back to Chalaba. That tee's like taking the edge off the pain a little bit, a little bit. Chilwell, down the line to Mudrick. Walker's on his case. Walker nudges him. And he's given the fucking free kick. He's given the free kick. And it's in a nightmare situation because this is a crossing opportunity. Last chance of the game for Chelsea. Surely. 
I say it's a foul. He's he, he's sort of it's it's a, it's not shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. It has to be. It can't be shoulder to back. And Kyle Kyle Walker's lent on Mudrick there and pushed him over and sort of like elbowed him a little bit. Mudrick with the free kick. It's over. It's shite. It's fucking shite. That is absolute dog shit from Mudrick. And I love every single morsel of the dog shit that it is. Because it was woefully poor from Mudrick, who just balloons it over everybody. And it's a goal kick to Manchester City with eight minutes gone. Now, surely, blow your bloody whistle. I need a wee so badly. Like third wee in 45 minutes. Like, I am not a normal human being. 100% oh. Kevin, keep the faith. Poznan, the City fans are rocking it. The Poznan. Ball up. Michael Oliver decides not to blow his whistle. What is he thinking? Ball down the line for Oscar Bob to chase. Chalaber, back to Petrovic. Petrovic lumps it up the pitch. Michael Oliver, blow your whistle, referee. Blow your whistle, referee, and he's blown the whistle. Manchester City are into the FA Cup final. Who are we going to face? Is it going to be Coventry? Is it going to be Manchester United? Regardless, it doesn't matter. City have done the business against a side that has been a constant, constant thorn in our side throughout this season. Chelsea have taken four points off us in the Premier League. Pep Guardiola is celebrating like he knows what this means because the momentum that we can achieve going forward now with this result. Cole Palmer hangs his head in, well, I wouldn't say shame because he was probably their best player as he has been all season, but he's hanging his, his head in uh, disappointment, you know, because you could be in an FA Cup final, mate. If you stuck around with the, the best side in the world, if you decided to stay and be a bit part player rather than the big man at Chelsea. You could have stayed and you could be picking up trophies right now at this Manchester City side because Manchester City are in the FA Cup final. We're in the FA Cup final. We've bounced back. Here we go. Let's have this season now. Come on, domestic double. Who are we going to beat in the FA Cup final, whether it's Coventry or United? We're going to beat them regardless. Come on, City. Let's do the fucking business because <sighs> Premier League as well. Brighton, that's a huge game as well. Come and join me for that one. I've got to go quickly, boys and girls, because I'm bursting and I'm not feeling great. So I will be back as soon as I can. I'll probably do a video of some kind tomorrow to talk about this game and stuff. But thanks very much for joining me in the stream. As usual, it's been fantastic. Uh, I will be back to my best, by the way, guys. And I'm sorry it's not been up to the standards that I want to set for this channel. Uh, but I will be back soon, better and well, soon as well. So take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.